Good morning, I'm the Manager of Communications for Comox Valley Schools, Mary Lee, and with me here today is Director of Instruction, Mr. Alan Douglas, and Kara Dawson, the District Information Technology Support Lead Teacher, and today we're going to talk about this new framework that has been developed for elementary schools. Alan, explain to us what the continuity of learning framework is all about. I sure will. Thanks very much, Mary and Kara, for being with us today so we can help families understand what their roles are and essentially what the framework is. And Kara will bring the framework up so people can see it as we reference it in this video. We had a um, small committee of elementary folks working on this uh, framework to sort of help parents understand what it is that we are going to be focusing on. So the, there, it starts with our core beliefs about home learning, and then we go into what our focus of the home learning program is. We will be focusing on literacy, numeracy, and health. Mental health, physical health, social emotional health. Last week, all of our teachers were asked to connect with each of our students, and we were just doing a check-in. How are things going? What are the needs uh, at home? What are the uh, resources that you have at home? And then from that, what we are going to be doing is reaching out and starting to teach our children. Some will be taught through online learning. Uh, those that don't have technology at home, we will be looking at paper-based products. So in our framework, we started to, look, started to look at what are the roles? What's the student's role? What are they supposed to do? And you can see them listed. What's the family's role? Somebody in the family is going to have to be the facilitator of learning. Uh, we started off with saying, you know, one hour um, a day, focusing maybe up to two hours a day, but we know many families have more than one child one maybe computer at home or none. So we're trying to balance that. The teacher's role is clearly articulated what they will be doing and then the school's role out in the community. We wanted to show what the timeline looked like. So we finished week one, phase one, where we made those connections. We're now into phase two, where, where teachers will start sharing home learning opportunities with the families. In addition to what your teacher will be providing for you, uh, we have asked Kara to collect some great resources for parents that they can look at. Kara, over to you. Okay, um, I'm going to share with you a bunch of resources that we've been putting together as a district. A lot of people has been, have been sending ideas in to me and working on pages to go in it. Uh, to find the resources, you go to learn71.ca online and click here on this large bar at the top that's for teaching and learning at home. When you get in here, you'll find that we've got support for teachers, support for families, and support for students. If you click on support for families, you'll find that we have starting points to help you get started, more resources, techie help, that's for um, helping you figure out how to use the technology that your teacher may be using. So there'll be links there to help you with using Teams and Office 365, Canvas, and the Scalantis ePortfolio page. And then we've also put together a page of websites that support learning. And teachers and parents can go to these pay this page and find a huge list of resources to help you with all subjects, whether it be math games to help you just practice your basic facts, or websites that have full schedules to help you plan your day, which I as a parent have found very helpful. Under starting points, our wonderful curriculum support teachers have put together a lot of little ideas just to help you get started for literacy, numeracy, and then other things like science, social studies, and PE. And check them regularly because uh, we're adding to them daily. As things change fast, so is so are these pages. They're just going to get better and better. Um, all of us at School District 71 want to thank all of the parents and the community for all the wonderful work that you're doing at home with your children as we learn this new way of the non-face-to-face -face instruction. Um, just want to reassure all of you, we will get through this and we'll get through it together. And we're looking forward um, to the end of the COVID-19, but during the, the midst of all of it, we're all working together and thank you for all of your help and your cooperation. We hope you found this video useful today. 
Kara Allen, thank you so much. Rolling out our first video information video on education now into the foreseeable future. Check in regularly. We'll have more updates with you and always come up to our COVID-19 page on comaxvalleyschools.ca.